This demonstration will show how you can take your existing and old 2D drawings, whether they be in DWG or DGN, and add information properties to the objects. In addition, we'll show how you can push this out to Excel, edit the data in Excel, and then push it back to the objects in your drawings. This will be particularly useful for scheduling purposes. So as you roll into this bottom right hand corner of the plan, we have these four doors in the, in, in the bottom there. So what I'm going to do is select the doors and I'm going to go over to a tool over here on the left hand side under the data task called add instance data. From here I'm going to choose the catalog type door and I'm going to choose a, a door type from our list. In this case we'll choose single door flush and I'm going to click on the screen. Okay, so if you repeat that process for any objects in your 2D drawings, um, they will then uh, have information properties associated with them. So now I can take a look at this in what's called our Data Group Explorer, which is like our inbuilt scheduler. And if I expand the door catalog type and my schedule, my custom schedule type down here, I can have a look at all the doors. Okay, so at the moment I've got some very minimal information on the objects themselves. What I can do is uh, select a bunch of doors and right click and say create a selection set. It'll allow me to select the doors from the schedule. If I hold right click down over the uh, screen here and say isolate, you can see I've isolated those doors on the screen. Isolate clear will then bring all the objects back. Okay, so what I can do is over here I can either edit the values in here, so I might add a a door number called 1 and a door number called 2 and over here I might add a fire rating for example of 1 hour. I can do it through here but it may be easier to do this this process through Excel. So what I'll do is I'll use this Excel exchange button and say edit in Excel. Excel will fire open and you can see the values I, I, I put in here are, are listed and I've got my fire rating over there. So what I might do is select them and drag it down like so, so I get a sequential drawing number set. And what I can do over here with fire rating, let's say they're all one hour fire rating doors, I can paste that in there and do the same thing. And now I have one hour fire rating listed there. So I'll shut Excel down, saving it. And using the same button, Excel Exchange again, we'll say Update from Excel, select the door schedule Excel, and that'll then push all those information properties back onto the objects. Okay, so now they're ready for automatic automatic labeling. So if I roll into to my drawing here, let's take a look over this side actually. I can go to my annotation tools, select the data group annotation tool, click on the, the door itself, and place the uh, the item. Of course, if I come down here and edit the the number, make it 100. Or actually, we'll make it 99. So I've only got space for two places. And click on the screen. You can see that automatically changes there like that. Okay, so there's a nice way of using Ecosim Building Designer in a 2D workflow to do your information modeling.